That's a very good question. It's actually in the Bible. And many of you probably have your Bible. I have my Bible right here in my phone, but some of you might have the book. It's all, either way, it's a great thing. And God had used from the beginning in the Bible to tell us about missions. See, God had called Abraham. You guys know Abraham? You know, he's like the father of Israel. Uh, how cool was that? And God had said, if you go in faith, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless all peoples through you. So because of that, Israel, the, the children of Abraham, that was now their job and their privilege to tell others about God and to be that blessing. Now, they didn't do the greatest job, but God still used them and gave them Jesus Christ, right? He was born of, of, of Mary uh, and Joseph and was part of the line of Abraham. And he lived a perfect life and died on the cross. And what did he do? He rose again, right? So that all of us might live forever with Jesus. And he gave us all a mission. That mission was to, for us to go and be a blessing to all the people as well. So now all of us, all of us all around who believe in Jesus are called to go and be a blessing to all people. That means your friends, that means your neighbors, some of your relatives, but it also means that we as a body of believers, as people who believe in Jesus, send out a few people to go to the places in particular countries in particular that have never had the opportunity to hear about Jesus. The early church did this. Paul was one of the first missionaries. He went and was sent out by the church to go and be a blessing and tell others about Jesus. And that is why we are being sent out by individuals and by our churches to go to Thailand. That is why we do missions, because God wants all people to be blessed with the knowledge of who He is, a wonderful, loving God.